please put your hands together for Dave McGrath. Hi, I'm Dave McGrath, and if you want a dickhead to come to your comedy club, open mic, house, bus station, anywhere that has four walls and a group of people, I will come tell jokes for free. I'll tell you a little Star Wars story. I know you're excited to hear a Star Wars story, but we have some teachers in the audience. So I used to be a special ed teacher. I taught in residential settings, students with severe emotional and behavioral issues. Their issues were so bad that if they did well in school during the week, at the end of the week, we'd show them a movie as a reward. So I would beg the lead teacher, can we watch Star Wars? Can we watch Star Wars? All year, she's like, no, no, no. I'm like, I'll make it educational, I promise you. So finally in June, she's like, fine. We can watch Star Wars if you'll stop asking. So we're watching Star Wars. A lot of the students had never seen it before, and they're getting into it, which made me really happy. And at the end, when Luke is about to blow up the Death Star, he hears Obi-Wan say, anyone know? I'm the only one that's seen Star Wars. Come on, Jeff. What does Obi-Wan say? Obi-Wan says, use the force. Immediately, one of my students says, oh my god, Luke hears voices just like I do. That's a true story. What else can I tell you about myself? I'm a huge hockey fan. Where are my hockey fans? Woo! It's the best sport ever, isn't it? Yes. Isn't it the best sport ever? Yes. A lot of people think it's too violent, and if little no. kids watch it, they'll become violent, they'll emulate the players. No. I disagree. I think it's the best sport ever. And if you disagree with me, I'll fucking fight any one of you. <laughs> Except that guy. I think he could probably beat me up. <laughs> I actually had a girlfriend who was a bigger hockey fan than me. She knew more than I did, which is kind of weird for me to... I liked it, actually, but things didn't work out with us for political reasons. I'm pro blowjobs. <laughs> answering the question, would I rather be with a non-licking liberal or a teabagging teabagger? <laughs> the truth is, I don't care if she's from a red state as long as she doesn't leave my balls in a blue state. <laughs> I shouldn't give my ex a hard time, though. She put up with a lot of my shit. I have Crohn's disease. I, re I do. I was diagnosed when I was 14 years old. You haven't heard of Crohn's? It's an autoimmune gastrointestinal system uh, disease. Uh, symptoms include farts that clear out two rows of the theater, breaking your friend Carl's toilet twice, your mom saying, you know, Dave, I noticed when you visit, we go through a lot more toilet paper. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate that. Crohn's is tough though, but I've found the right uh, balance of diet, medication, <laughs> and exercise. So I pretty much have my Crohn's under control. And in a way, it was good that I had that Crohn's experience when I was 14, because a few years later, I was diagnosed with a cancerous brain tumor. True story. It's a true story. I'm going to make it funny. You're going to laugh. <laughs> the funny thing about my diagnosis this is true. Even though the tumor was in the middle of my brain, it was the same kind of cells as testicular cancer, proving what my brothers and sisters had been saying all along was true, I was a dickhead. How many people have biological proof of that? I think they said it so often it actually happened. Well, the good thing about that they knew what kind of tumor it was, they knew what treatment to use. I went through six rounds of chemo and I've been cancer-free for over 20 years. Thank you, Chief Cancer Survivor Applause. I love you. <laughs> cancer and Crohn's taught me a lot of things. They taught me to value my health. They taught me that the only thing in life that really matters is the people that you have in yours. But more than anything, it gave me an appreciation for nurse-themed adult motion pictures. <laughs> and I'd like to personally thank all those actresses for getting inside my head. So, do we have any actual nurses here tonight? Nurses are the best. Thank you, nurses, for the, for the work you do. So I will leave you with this thought. There's no such thing in life as mistakes. Only learning experiences. Which just make me a fucking genius by now, but I'm not. I'm Dave McGrath, that's it for me. Thanks a lot. So if you're interested, check out my schedule on my website and let me know.